These empty sheets are all that's left of you, the last of all the thoughtless gifts you gave. I wanted to them. They thought that I can do any good. I can't throw them away. I've never been that brave. What? I was given a gift. What? Command is easy to My lord. There is a light in every living thing. It's crawling towards the surface to survive. I'm in its way. It tramples everything. Go kill the rest so that the one can thrive. That one is actually pretty good. I like that. Um, I don't like this, though. How am I supposed to know that this was going to happen? This is surreal. This, this was a surreal encounter to begin with. That sucks. A rough tempest I will raise. Yeah. Yeah. Target must be a humanoid. What are they resilient to or resistant to? Slashing, piercing, bludgeoning, fire, lightning, psychic, and poison. Um, right. Well, Misty Step is a bonus action, but the problem is that is, uh, yeah. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So, Intelligence, Wisdom, and Charisma. Dexterity. Uh, we may be able to do something with Web. So in web there, but that guy is is a ranged combatant. So Let's light them. oh, don't do that. Nothing important is ever easy. Yeah. We also have missed this step. That is a bonus action. Forty percent. Sixty-five. Dread ambusher. That's 91 health. That's pretty brutal. Try something oh, come else. on! Freaking camera movement. I hate automatic. Oh, try something else? Oh, I know what it is. It's the button downstairs. Not too shabby. Let's go. So. Uh, can you exit combat? Dash. On the move. I would. I would guess not. Ready for another round. Our friend, our friendly uh, guardian is is. Um, yeah, let's just go. He's helping us out here. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. But I think Karlak's about to die. Or potentially... Take a lot of damage. Yeah, she's down. You didn't pick her up? There you go. Oh, turn that off, please. Oh, you can't attack? That's fine. I speak, they burn. Uh, why is the web gone? Did you take damage? Nice miss. Nothing. 
Oh, come on. Seriously? <laughs> try something else. All right. Try well, reloading is what I try. Yeah, these guys are angry. <laughs> The silence stretches on. I'm all alone. Please, can I hold your hands for just a while? Of course, my love. Don't be afraid, sweet girl. What can I do? Would you like a hug? No, I wouldn't. I'm fine. You're strong. You're stronger than I am. Remember, I'm always here for you. And you will never walk this path alone. You're not creepy at all. What is this place? Who are you? Yeah, that's a that's a long line to say whenever I say something. <laughs> Apart from already existing things. Okay. Yeah, let's go to the basement and not mess with these guys. I think, potentially, instead of going um, to the button, we go to the basement. And here is where we would disable them somehow. Let's have a look. I don't know where we are. Although, there's definitely a scroll of flying ice knife. Yeah, I got some lovely scrolls there. Speak with the dead. Scorching ray. I don't believe we've learned that. And fringe. Let me my magic. Philosophy and whatnot. It's for about death, I believe. Yeah, I'll let you have your magic. What is oh, yeah, we can learn these. Some of these, anyway. Awesome. What to do? Hmm. Basilisk oil. Not the first time we find it. Oh, this is just a treasure trove, then. Journey through the jungle. Yep, I remember that. The Annals of Baldur's, Gra Baldur's Gate. Baldur's Gate as well, but... Yeah. Element is not around. No. As well. Let's see what these are. Centuries ago, a young man sailed from the village of Grey Harbor, where he went, what he saw, and the deeds he accomplished are simple legends today. But the wealth he returned with years later is, in, uh, is a hard fact. Balduran made Grey Harbor rich. His gold-built docks, fun which is funny because the docks aren't made of gold, funded businesses and raised strong walls to protect it all. One of the gates into this flourishing city was named in his honor. But so great was the wealth that flowed through it that the name of the gate became more famous than the village that started it all. The name Grey Harbor has been re relegated to dusty history books and ancient maps, but Baldur's Gate? Question mark. That made no. That name is on the lips of every traveler in Faerun. I didn't know about that. That's cool. That's a cool detail. I knew about Grey Harbor, I believe. Step by step. No, I. Uh, no, I was thinking of Grey Havens, which is a, a place in um, in uh, the Lord of the Rings, or in uh, well, not just the Lord of the Rings, in, in the lore of Tolkien. But I I don't know that Grey Harbor is ever mentioned in the first or second games. Actually, it would be only the first because that's where uh, Baldur's Gate actually appears. Sparks Wall resistance to lightning damage. The wearer can't be electrocuted. Give it to Lazel, just in case. And the Hearst's Diary. First off, you're going to learn that that thing over there. I don't know what it was, but you're going to learn that. Secondly, what is this thing? Who would have thought three years ago that I would start a diary? Not a research journal, but a real diary. I guess when... E what do you mean a real diary? What the... That's, that's that, like, diary and journal are the same word. They're spelt differently, and, I mean, they, they have different 
connotations depending on the culture, but whatever. I guess when every soul is more like to kill you than converse with you, talking to a book starts making sense. And who would have thought, three years ago, that I would be called back to Baldur's Gate to confer with the other clerics of Mistra, right at the apex of my studies. I have all the pieces, but I have barely started my treaties. No matter, I will take my ring with me to show them a glimpse of the possibilities. I will leave you, my dear book, here together with the rest of my research, waiting to be finished. I should be back before uh, next chess, which I believe is a, is a month. And it's not a quest book or anything. Uh, or a quest item, I should say. Talking to a book as well. That's not what happens. You write to it. This, on the other hand, may be a little bit different. Uh, Staff of Arcane Blessing. I'll get that. Um, but yeah, we may find this person later. What is the staff situation? It's a 1d8. Oh, it's versatile, isn't it? Yeah, it's a 1d6. Or actually, it would be 1d8 because of... All of them are versatile, yeah, yeah. So it's a 1d8, uh, Mistress Blessing. Bless grants an additional 1d4 saving throws and weapon attacks and an additional 1d4. He doesn't have Blessing, right? That's not a spell for him. But is it better than this thing? Nature's Snare. I think it may be. It looks cooler, so I like that. Send that to camp. And uh, Tongue of Madness, we just have a lot of these. Looking forward to see what Am seeing what Omelette uh, says about that. And it's about the, the uh, excavation of the enclave of Nyalatho. Ny Ny Nyaloth. That's, that's how it's pronounced. Elminster said Nyaloth was a wonder to behold when it floated in Faerun's sky. He was surely right. This Netherese enclave was once a jewel in the Empire of Magic, capital E, capital M, with towers that pierced the heavens, and yet it fell, just as all Netherese enclaves did, crashing down when Karsus's folly ripped magic from the world. But even after it collapsed into the sea, its ruins still held a strange, twisted beauty. I traveled here from Halrua when I heard the sea had retreated and the ruins of Nyaloth were visible once again. Alas, I was not the first. Looters have stripped the enclave of its material wealth, destroying much of its esoteric riches in the process. I found arcane books used to make campfires, their magic lost now to the ages. I have met some Shadowvar here, whose interests align with mine, and we have agreed to search the ruins together. I'm grateful for these allies. The ruins are mostly filled with thick-skulled ad adventurers, but I cannot shake the feeling that someone is watching us, waiting to see what we uncover. And this is either a reference to a campaign, a real, a real campaign, um, or it, it, you know, in real. I say real is in you know an actual Dungeons and Dragons campaign that you can buy and, and, and play in tabletop, or it's not a quest item, uh, or it's actually a place we're going to later on because that that feels like a, a setup, honestly. I, I would like to pronounce Nyaloth a bunch. Yeah, that's definitely that's a little bit of a tongue twister. That metal door there. Oh, it's behind that other door. Oh, it's not a door. Uh, or rather, not behind that other door. It's It wasn't a door in the first place. It was the thing that I looked at. All right. I also see you. But I can't... There's no checks here or anything, so... Huh. But is there anything else? I ask. I don't believe there is. It was just a treasure trove. And, ultimately, uh... Omelette's solutions as well, because of the... I'll give it a shot. You know, alchemical ingredients that we found down here. All right, so... This means that it has a bunch of levels, for one. The tower does. It means that the upper level is only... Oh, this is not an elevator. The upper level is full of robots that we may actually want to kill. It's going to be difficult, but we probably can... Uh, we want to probably want to specialize in a specific type of damage, otherwise it's going to be difficult. This is the, fir the original level. Okay. I just want to come here. Oh wait, maybe the telescope. No. I wanted to come here because I don't know what this is for. There's a bone there. 
strange place for a button. Especially one that doesn't work. I don't know. It may be a little bit of uh, environmental storytelling there. Because next to the bed... I don't know. Let's go. Outside. Did you turn them on? Oh, they're not turned on. Arcane lights. Of course. The power is still on, though. Huh. Yeah, so regarding the grave. This This is the grave that I thought um I saw outside. I don't know if it is one. However, we do have that thing. Autumn Crocus. Legend says the first Crocus was created by Lathander, the Morning Lord, which is why this de delicate flower is always found st stretching its petals towards the sun. I will... I don't know what to do about it, but... Uh, let's split item, just one, and drop. Hmm. Curious. I'm not sure what I expected. But expected something. <laughs> I don't think that's that's the grave. Anyway, uh this means actually it means a couple of things. For one, it oh yeah, there's a bunch of things that we haven't seen. Um it means that we could go back to the the, 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 whatever, the, 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 I forget their name, the fungal people, to, the, back to their camp, to talk to Omelette, but also it means, there it is, it means that I should do this before I forget, because we didn't interact with the holes, I'm going to save and die. The wall is riddled with holes, a Suffocating stench of long rotten meat wafts out. I'm going to reach into one of the holes. The passage narrows and bends, becoming impassable before you're even elbow deep. Hmm. What does that mean? Ah, an excellent choice. Clicking on you, absolutely. Do I cast? Yeah, def I think I can. Arcane recovery that. Uh, because we have now. Enlarge, reduce. It's level three, as it turns out. Or level two. There we go. Still breathing, despite everything. The wall is riddled with holes. A the passage narrows and bends. Become Seriously? Well, I guess it doesn't work like that. One with the wind. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't very good. It wasn't very good. I'm also over encumbered because I'm small. I lose two strength, I believe. But we don't. We don't worry. It's actually the reason why you would want that scroll uh, for combat is to reduce people's. Strength. I be do believe they also get extra dexterity. No, it's only. Wait. My strength is eight normally. How am I over encumbered? Huh. I don't know. Back to normal. Yeah. It's weird. There's some calculation being made there. That's interesting. Uh, wait a minute. There is a consideration, though, that I haven't had, which is that hole is different from that hole. Here goes nothing. And from that hole. Empty. Nothing but rocks. This is 
concerning. Not gonna lie. Let's go this way. We do need to sleep. Oh, also. Is ripe with magic. Let's cast this. Because you never know. Let's, get going. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's get a short rest. That hit the spot. Hmm. What's that? That is a gold necklace. That goes right there. Oh, you can't reach it. Assume nothing. Lazel can reach it. Try toward fate. Go for it. Whee! What kind of gold necklace is it? It's just a gold necklace. I have a bunch of those. Shouldn't have done that. Let's move. I am aware. But she heals when she hits people, so it's okay. Something over there. Over here, you mean? More lacolite up ahead? And a chest. Potion of Featherfall. And the bow and the arrows as well. I don't use I haven't used arrows, but I will likely use them a lot later in the game. Oh, I know what this is. This is where the boat comes. Got some simple boots, half eaten apple. A Shabba Dusk. Huh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is where the boat arrived. That's that boat. No, it can't be. Why would you want that boat? It can't be, right? Huh. Either way, we have been here. We haven't been up there. We haven't been over here. We will actually likely just go that way and, and explore. Let's go back to the Mekanid colony. That's the Underdark Beach. Yeah, let's go over here. And talk to Omelette, I think. Hey, Omelette. I greet you, child of the sun. How has your search for the mushrooms fared? Well, I found them. These are fine specimens. It will only take me a moment to brew them to proper potency. Omeluum turns away to prepare the potion, lost in its own musings. You must drink the entire draught. I can make no promises as to its taste. What exactly is this going to do to me? It will lower the psionic defenses around the lava. If I cannot remove it, I may still be able to tell you more about its origin. Omeluan watches you with cautious intensity. It expects doubt. It expects fear. Huh. Well, I'm gonna drink the potion then. The acidic liquid tightens your throat, burning on the way down. It's a bolt of agony straight to your stomach. Not a drop left. Very good. As the potion influences your mind, you may find yourself acting irrationally. Try and stay focused. The world loses its edges, its finer boundaries. You are fluid, but trapped like a creature suspended in amber. A saving throw and a saving throw. They're both intelligent. No, wisdom and intelligence. Well, I'm going to draw on my willpower and resist. Because it's more thematic, I would say. It's a reasonable... A reason... Ooh, potion of... Your, yeah, yeah. Oh, we can get a bless? Sure. Where'd you get that? How does he get bless? Did I have bless? I got it. Dark holes bite at the edges of your vision. But the void cannot draw you in. The tentacle spasms, seizes. It's fighting the potion even harder than you are. Fear pierces your mind like knives of ice. The parasite digs deeper, as if it means to hollow out your skull. 
This is pretty bad. <laughs> uh, when when he was talking for a moment there, I thought that maybe the search for the cure for the parasite is just a, a series of failed attempts until we eventually cure it, the parasite somehow or whatever. Uh, and each failed attempt gives us something interesting. And um, I think this is just going to be the interesting bit of this failed attempt. Although it'd be cool, it'd, it'd be cool if it wasn't there. But uh, we'll see. Um, the the interesting bit is just gonna know, uh, just gonna be knowing exactly what kind of what kind of terrible thing we're dealing with here. Uh, I'm gonna drown out the tadpole by focusing on a tune. Sure. It's a level 15 difficulty. Let's go with it. I failed. Do I get to re-roll? I do. Go for it. There we go. The cold blades lose their edge. You are stalwart, turning that tide of fear against itself. The parasite swells with power. More power than you have ever felt before. It surges and twists, lashing out against that which would dare to intrude. The parasite in your mind quiets, pleased with itself. Omeluan, are you well? That lava is like nothing I have ever observed before. Its power is unsettling. Ooh, this is interesting. This larva... It's either a special type of, of uh, illithid, or it's not an illithid at all, and that's why we're not turning. That's what it is, isn't it? it uh, um, I'm saying this because this, um, this... This phrasing, this framing, I should say, kind of puts it in a light that I haven't th thought of before, which is the power of the animal itself. And also he uses the word larva. Which uh, obviously means there's something that comes after. I, yeah. I felt it grow inside me. There's more power than ever. Such an outcome was not in my calculations. There is more to this being than mere stasis. So I went through all this and the tadpoles still lodged in my brain? Indeed. Although, I may have another solution. Albeit a temporary one. I possess a ring of mind shielding. It prevents elder brains from noticing my presence. It will not remove the lava, but it will limit its influence, both positive and negative. I would offer it as a gift, but in truth, the ring is priceless. Is there anything you could offer me in turn? Maybe, I don't know. Um, how about I tell you more about the Nautiloid? Every last detail. A fascinating topic indeed. What can you tell me? I can give a dramatic retelling of the time there, or a detailed logical analysis of the Nautiloid. Let's go with that, because I'm more intelligent than I am charismatic. Oh, it's a difficult check, though. Fifteen. I succeed! That's what I'm talking about! What a brilliant experience. To feel one step closer to my ancestors is a fine gift indeed. Here, it is yours. May it serve you as well as it has served me. That could mean any number of things. Of course, the lava remains. Be ever vigilant of its growth. Yeah, I'm trying not to feed it. Um, that's definitely... Have you spoken with Scris lately? 
Yes. She is cataloging Corotoan fertility rituals. Yeah, we've heard about that before. Um, we also have a quest completed and stuff. The Ring of Mind Shielding. I'm going to have to give up one of my own rings. I was I took acid damage from that. Which is slightly upsetting. But not too much. I would think the wearer can't be electrocuted. The ring of color spray. I'll give it no to you. Give wicked, that to you. No. Well, it's the how I th that is. And I will give this caustic band to Lazel. And I will keep the ring. So you have advantage on saving throws against charmed. Oh. This ring is forged from a smooth alien metal capped with eyes of emerald that watch the world unblinking. What? It, that's not quite what... Wait a minute. I was going to say that's not quite what he said it did. Protect me from the effects of the larva, both good and evil. Or bad. But... What if the larva... So, in Baldur's Gate 2, there's a stage of the main quest... And there's no, there's no need to go into details. It's it's com more complicated than what I'm going to describe. But it doesn't matter. There's a stage of the main quest where your character turns uh, into basically a monster that runs around and kills people um, against your will. It, 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 you don't have control over that, uh, that uh, monster. Uh, but basically it works as if your character went berserk or went uh, charmed. So I wonder if here charmed is basically us being charmed effectively... You know, from a mechanical standpoint, us being charmed by the uh, by the larva somehow, and that's why that thing is important. I don't know. That feels very, very worrisome. 